Mark, would you make sure both micro units are on? On the left, on the left there. <coughs> well, if you haven't come to our Sunday after Christmas celebration, you might not realize that we often use Christ-like readings that are not scriptural as part of the program. And in my search for appropriate stuff about a week ago, I found this quote. When you give of yourself, something new comes into being. The world expands. A bit of goodness is brought forth, and a small miracle occurs. You must never underestimate this miracle. Too many good people think that they must become Mother Teresa or Albert Schweitzer or even Santa Claus and perform great acts if they are to be givers. They don't see the simple openings of the heart that can be practiced anywhere with almost anything. A great quote by Kent Nerber, who's an American author and sculptor. <coughs> well, I'd never heard of him, but I liked the quote, so into the service it went, and I sent this along with all the other readings, and I guess it was Saturday morning, off to Dick and Jan. Well, a little later, my wife Frida and daughter Kayla, who are still wed to written planners despite the wonder of their iPhones, they decided they wanted to go to Barnes and Nobles where they could purchase those items. So off we went. And I'm walking around the store and I look down on one of the little tables there, a clearance table, and there's this book, a tiny book, and it says, The Wisdom of the Native Americans, compiled by Kent Nerver. Okay, that's weird. I've never heard of the guy, and yet, in less than 24 hours, his name is put before my eyes. I figured God is trying to tell me something, right? And since the book was less than $8, I was willing to listen. Well, I've spent some time with that book over the week, and it is pretty much what I expected it would be. It's a beautiful, often heart-rending compilation of observations by Native American leaders who were being displaced from their lands by a United States bent on its manifest destiny. Observations like how all things are related under God, about how all living things must be respected or balance will be lost, about how the European lust for material things could bring this land to its knees. Observations from folks like Chief Seattle, Chief Joseph, Chief Red Jacket, Chief Luther Standing Bear, who incidentally is probably the most famous graduate of the School for Indian Children that was founded in Carlisle. But one of the things that's hard to read in this book is the obvious disparity the Native Americans observed in the proclaimed faith of the European newcomers and their treatment of others, especially the Indians. And I'd like to say this is a thing of the past, but of course it's not. Even for us who are Christians, sometimes we join St. Augustine in that famous cry, Lord, save us from your followers. And as I've said to you before, Christians in this land are more known for what they stand against than for being the proclaimers of the God who loves and cherishes every single person. The Barnum Group studies this information. Mark, I have some slides coming if you're ready. And they recently did a survey, in 2013 in fact, utilizing two lists of attitudes and actions. The first list was Christ-like attitudes and actions. And they were things like, I see God-given value in every single person regardless of their past or present condition. Or, <clears throat> I believe God is for everyone. The second list of attitudes and actions were self-righteous attitudes and actions. And that's, this was stuff like, I like to point out those who do not have the right theology or doctrine. <clears throat> or, I prefer to serve people in my own church rather than reach out to people outside my church. 
Or, I feel grateful to be a Christian when I see other people's failures and flaws. The Barna Group decided to name this self-righteous list the Pharisaical list. In other words, the list that embodies the attitudes and actions we see portrayed by the biblical Pharisees. Well, they did a survey. They surveyed all kinds of Christians, and this is what they found out. 51% of Christians were firmly Pharisaical in both action and attitude. Next, 21% of Christians were Christ-like in attitude, but Pharisaical in their actions, Pharisaical in how they carried it out. 14% were Christ-like in action, but motivated by Pharisaical or self-righteous tendencies. And finally, only 14% of those surveyed were Christ-like in action and attitude. Now, remember, this is not someone observing these folks. These folks are answering for themselves the questions <coughs> being presented by the Barnum. And when we look at these statistics, it's kind of amazing that we wonder sometimes why the world doesn't always take us seriously. The problems observed by our Native American brothers and sisters are still there to be observed by our brothers sisters. Why? Well, I think it's simple. Sin. We tend to take Jesus and make it into what we want. Just like folks from other religious traditions tend to take their central religious figures and make them into what they want. We want what we want, and so Jesus becomes for us the person who either agrees with us or who is somehow spiritually separated from our desires. And in terms of the growth of the United States, Jesus even became an excuse for some for pushing Native Americans out of their lands, just as the misused gospel became the excuse for some for the slave trade. Some folks said we had to go and displace the Native Americans because we were spreading the gospel. I'm not sure anybody who made that claim realized that, you know, those Native Americans would be smart enough to see the proclaimers who weren't exactly living the gospel. And of course, again, the misused gospel was also used to support slavery. And now, today, folks, <coughs> they make Jesus into all kinds of things. They make Jesus into a person who will promote their view of politics or business or democracy and so on and so forth. We make Jesus what we want Jesus to be. And we've been doing it forever. Heck, I think in this gospel lesson, Nathaniel's doing it. Jesus is barely <coughs> uttering four words and Nathaniel is proclaiming him God incarnate. The dude's just have, uh, lucky enough to be right. So what is this lesson saying to us about all of this? Again, I think it's simple. John the Baptist, arguably top ten, the greatest person who ever lived, sees Jesus walking by and says, Behold the Lamb of God. And with that, his disciples leave this great man. And they go and follow this Jesus. And they say, Rabbi, where are you staying? And he says, Come and see. With this lesson, we see very simply that if we are going to be Christ-like, if we are going to be like our Master, if we are going to embody the proclamation of love for all people that Christ embodies, we must follow. And we need to constantly look at our attitudes and our actions and constantly ask ourselves, is this of Christ or is this of me? Is this of Christ or is it of Mike Martin? Is what I'm doing compassionate and helpful and healing or is it judgmental or motivated by self-righteousness? Becoming Christ means recognizing that, hey, maybe we're on the path but we're not there yet and we are always called to gently and lovingly help others along the way. And pretty much that's the end of the sermon.
You're lucky. Except that we also need to recognize as Christians that we have done some damage out there. And sometimes an apology is in order, as well as maybe a confession that most of us, we've gotten dinged by our fellow followers here and there. And separated from the follies of his followers, there can never be any doubt of the need to proclaim the message of Christ. And perhaps nothing speaks to the power of Christ more clearly than the fact that those who were oppressed by Christians could still see it. A fact that still resonates when you walk into a black AME church or into the chapel at Rocky Boy Indian Reservation. Behold the Lamb of God. Follow the Lamb of God. Follow Christ. Do not make Christ in your image. Do not make Christ in your image. And Christ will make you in his.